This is the case study of Brian Jennings, a 35-year-old Korsakoff's patient due to excessive alcohol abuse at an early age. He was diagnosed in February of 2009 with the onset in 2004. This case study attempts to look at his life, diagnostic testing, treatment, and the health of his sibling in his life. What's your name? Brad uh, Jennings. Where are you right now? Um, I'm in an office. I'm guessing your office. It's nice. You got a lot of books. Uh, what year is it? It's 1997. Why? Just asking. Um, how old are you? I'm 22. And what's going on in your life right now? Um, well, I'm on break. Um, just got back to my mom's place. Um, that's good. I haven't seen her in a while, so it's good. Um, but I'm a senior. I'm just finishing up at Loyola. So I have a semester to go still in the spring. But I don't know. I'm trying to, I guess I got to start looking into getting some internships, maybe. Something like that. Ken, can you please look at this ID and tell me if that's a picture of you? Is that your ID? Yeah, that's, that's me. What year is that ID issued? Well, it says, um, it says 10, 12, 10. Uh, that can't you be. You know, I remember going, and this lady at the DMV was just, was just an idiot. I mean, everybody, I get sent back in the line and back in the other line, and I don't know. I'm sure they just made some kind of mistake. That's weird, though. Definitely. 10, 12, 10. I don't know. I wouldn't worry too much about it. I'll probably, I'll get it fixed some other time. Brad, um, can you please uh, copy the figures on the page for me, and I will be right back. Uh, these here? Yep. Um, yeah, I guess. Okay. Sure. Hi, Brad. How are you? Good. You? Good. Do you know who I am? No. Uh, you look like, I don't know, you must be a doctor. I don't feel sick. My name's Dr. Poplin. I have a quick question for you. Do you know who drew these pictures? Whoever did isn't really very good at drawing sailboats. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's weird. Why are these here? Someone must have left them there. Hi, Dr. Poplin. How are you doing today? Good. How are you doing? Doing all right. Doing pretty good. How, uh, how is your support group going? It's going really well. I didn't think that I was going to like it at all at first, just because I thought it was kind of weird. But um, after we got your recommendation, I went a couple times. and. Um, it's just really helpful just to have that, um, that kind of um, constant connection with other people who um, know what it's like to have someone in their family with this disease, and it's hard, and it's good just to have that kind of um, relatability to other people who understand exactly what I'm going through, so I've really liked it so far, yeah. surprisingly. <laughs> uh, how do you think Brian is doing? Brian's doing pretty good. Um, he hasn't been really so well into this like amnesia and all that he still thinks he's the same as he's always been but um his attacks he's getting better which has been really helpful and really good to see good so, do you think that that new treatments are helping him i think they are and it's with this attacks yeah for sure like it's definitely gone down a lot so and he's following the daily 100 milligram dosage of it oh yes <laughs> and the <laughs> sure. balanced nutritional diet yeah. with uh potassium and manganese supplements all that <laughs> okay good we're good um but do you have any questions? Yeah, I did actually. Um, his treatments have really been helping his ataxia a lot, which has been really great to see and all. But I was wondering if his amnesia was going to get any better through all this, because it's been, like you said, like about a year and a half into treatment and such. And that's been really great, but um, his amnesia, like, it's just not going away, and nothing's getting better and improving in that sense. So we didn't know like if we should be expecting some kind of change there, or if it's permanent, I guess. Um, unfortunately, since we started treatment so late into the disease, uh, the degeneration had gotten so far that uh, we 
we don't believe that he will be able to regain uh, his memory capabilities. His attack to that is improving, which is great, but um, he will have amnesia for the rest of his life, unfortunately. So basically then what you're saying is that he's going to be a 22-year-old stuck in a aging body for the rest of his life. Yeah, he will. Okay. <laughs> um, then I just had another couple quick questions. Um, we went home a couple um, weeks ago just to because our parents were over the holidays, friends of those winter break, but, um, which is obviously true. <laughs> but, uh, so we went there, and he just had a lot of problems with the fact that um, you can tell that our mom is aging, especially since the last time he's seen her, um, and he didn't really understand how she could be, have aged so fast, I guess, in such a short amount of time, considering he thinks he's still 22, when really he's 35. Yeah. So, I mean, there's a big difference in how we're starting to change and how... And I'll start to look older, and he will be able to, or he'll be able to see the effects of that too. So, will that? I guess like I guess I'm asking is how will that affect him? Like, will he just be constantly be upset in the fact that we're going to age, even though he doesn't see himself aging? And I guess how to deal with it? I was gonna say, unfortunately, because his amnesia is not improving with the treatments, um, it will be something that you will have to deal with as a family continually. Um, he may become more upset as you guys grow older with the fact that it, it's a contradiction to what he is perceiving you still being at the same age that he is. Right. Um, but it's one of those things that with your support group you can talk about and you know really work with, um, but he will be having some more issues as that gets older and it has, as his he gets older and his health deteriorates, um, but we'll help deal with that as much as we can with him. Unfortunately, that's one of the side effects. Okay. That was really the only couple questions I had in that sense. But. Well, if I can ask you a quick question. Sure. Um, I asked Brian how he got his ID. Can you tell me how he actually got it? Yeah. Oh, um, sorry. <laughs> Just like his ID? Yeah. Um, he, we got that in the mail a couple months ago. It's usually like one of those renewal things. So we've had it for a couple months. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know if that's helpful. But yeah. Um, so just make sure he keeps on his daily routine. Um, okay. It'll take two years to see the full effects, and he's already a year and a half into it, so okay. hopefully he'll improve a little bit more still. But if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you guys soon enough. Okay, sounds great. Thank you again very You're much. Welcome. We'll see you. Check it out. Check it out. Just doing regular stuff, but it's hard for me to coordinate the muscle control. We're 30 seconds in, we have nothing. <laughs> <laughs>